shoveling, snow days and erratic public transportation. The past three weeks have been challenging to say the least. As students try staying motivated indoors, professors try staying ahead by holding classes remotely. It's a good alternative way of doing this, you know, of making up the class that we have missed in the snowstorm day. But I still want to have class with my professor and friends face to face. But problems are far from solved. This student walked miles to the state house only to be met with disappointment. They didn't put up like announcement or notice on the on the website. It's just um, um you had to go there to find out all oh, all the meetings were cancelled. While people found ways to work from the comfort of their homes and some establishments remained shut completely, others like this auto service station behind me say they remained open throughout the storms. Fred, the manager of this establishment, tells me that business has been good for them this winter. Yep, lots of batteries, transmission related repairs, brake repairs. People like to the, really do some abuse in the winter. We are consistently busy, but when there's extreme climate changes, that makes us more busy. With more snow expected this weekend, it's going to be a while before the sun comes out. For BU News Service, I'm Nikita Sampat.